Right guys, so we are at the final 10 game stage of Foot Champions, week number 9, month number... No, it's week number 1, isn't it? Month number 3. Um, we are on 25 wins, 10 games remaining, guys. I can't better what I've got previously. The only thing I can really do is match or get worse. So, 10 games remaining. It's going to be a very, very difficult... Um, 10 games, that's that's a given because the last 10 games are always the most difficult for me. And uh, if we look at the current rank, guys, we are sat in gold one. So four wins, we get elite three. Um, obviously, seven wins, we get elite two. And then nine wins, we do get elite one. I'm aiming for elite one. I'm aiming for top 100. But the only way I can do that, guys, by hitting 35 wins. Um, it is Saturday evening as I'm recording this, so... No point looking at the top 100 just because it's going to look the same. And we did make a drastic change as well, guys, which is a change to the team. And you can see it on the screen now. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If you're trying to hit up a 3,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So with that, what am I going to do with this team? Hopefully win 10 games. It's going to be difficult. It is going to be difficult. There's no... There's no way to uh, hide away from that, even with the strong team that I have got. Um, player quality this week has been absolutely awesome, and it's shown as well in the gameplay from the previous videos. Hopefully, I can finish off an Elite 1, though, guys. That's the aim, to get the uh, two-team of the week pack. Top 100 would be the dream, but I've never hit it yet. Hopefully, I can, but who knows? It's going to be a long month, guys. Um, 170 games remain of the month. It's long. It's very, very long. So let's get into 10 games, guys. Hopefully pick up some decent wins and uh, finish off good for the rewards on Thursday. So, guys, game 31 to 40, starting off against Huggy FC with Lukaku, Vardy, Oscar, uh, Sigurdsson as well in the uh, cam position. Um, well, cam CM. And he's got Delafort on loan. And that one did spark a little bit of interest into his team. Don't really see many people rocking loan players, especially the types of uh, player like Delafort, um, as obviously there is a lot better players to put in his alternative but my opponent did play very well but obviously the caliber of player within my team especially the pog boom guys is well and truly back will run in as he does get a very very nice goal there and uh, some very very nice goals in the last episode if you did not see them next goal comes from our man uh, ronaldo i was gonna say bale then uh, with a nice near post finesse shot makes it three nil and secures us our first win of today's episode very very dominant game possession 50 50 or 51 49 um but a win's a win next opponent coming up against a red card now either he's got very very lucky finishing in gold for the month and getting Donnarumma in one of his free cards or he's finished elite and got him in one of his 12 or, or even top 100 and got one of them in 44 so instantly that sparks fear into me for some reason but thankfully Pogba was there to score an absolutely amazing goal again the stereotypical dab now you guys, I don't dab on opponents unless it's someone with... Who has got the dab celebration? Is it Dybala and Lingard? Is it just Dybala, Lingard and uh, Pogba who have got the dab celebration? Uh, so you guys know I do just do the stereotypical uh, celebrations where you just hold it and they do what they do. So as you can see with Ronaldo doing his uh, jump, jump to boom celebration. So... This game went to 2-1. Nangolan scored. Was it Nangolan? Someone scored an absolute screamer there, guys, to uh, make it 2-1 in 76. But we were able to hold on and pick up a win against Kata Marker FC and picking up for two wins out of two so far in the episode. Next opponent... Loads of players in this team, and I think he's actually a subscriber of me. Um, has loads of t players in the team which I've never seen in Weekend League before. Informed Dizuba, Witzel, and Shatov, the trio, and also Hector, and I think it's Sully um, in the uh, centre mid position, uh, centre back position. Uh, also, free kicks. When you see someone put a player on the line, guys, Hummels is tall as fuck. Yeah, uh, uh, Hullet was able to get that over him and make it 1-0. And uh, that opened me up to uh, get a lot more goals. You can see Ronaldo with a nice driven finesse shot there. Uh, pass the keeper, makes it 2-0 in the 22nd minute of the game. It was an easy push on, especially when I saw the uh, players he did have. We were basically camped in around his box all of the game, uh, passing it around, making space, waiting for runners. And you can see Hullet breaking on through, and what a goal that is, guys, by Hullet. First time shot into the far corner with a finesse shot on his, le finesse shot on his left foot. It was a hit and hope, but it was absolutely amazing. Could be the best goal I've scored on champs. Ronaldo linking up with Vieira. Vieira with the uh, chip back to Ronaldo. Diving header 4-0 in the 51st minute, guys. And it was going to be one more goal to happen in this game. And uh, it was going to be from us on the attack again. Hull it through to Kante. Kante getting a drilled shot off the post. 5-0 in 57 minutes. My opponent was gone. After that, guys, he wasn't hanging around for much more. It did disappear. And uh, we picked up the win. So it's probably nice that I have... Reverted back to the team I used last week. I'm, I'm still annoyed that I've picked up so many losses and um, 
The teams are coming against are still amazing. You can see Pogba at Cam in this one, Costa, the player of the month, Hazard, um, the uh, one to watch Bailey, but it's just his normal card anyway, and uh, Smalling in the team. And uh, anyone in the Chelsea kit always seems to give me a bit of an issue, just like real life, you know. Walker through to uh, Costa, outside of the foot. 1-0. What more can I do, guys? What more can I do? Uh, we can see very early on in this game, it was a brilliant finish and uh, did set me back uh, and frustrated me as well because it took me until the 58th minute, guys, to actually break through. It was a fake shot by Ronaldo there. He committed too early uh, on the side tackle. Ronaldo passed the goalkeeper, 1-1 in the 59th minute of the game, but we kept on knocking to get another goal, guys, and it come in the 87th minute as Pogba drives on through, waits for the back off, back off happens, triple tap to the back post, and Suarez absolutely hammers it into the back of the net and uh, does seal us another victory uh, in the push-on to get Elite 1. So a 2-1 victory against the foot champion, obviously dominated in possession, dominated in shots as well, uh, but honestly need more goals. Next opponent against Fieldy, uh, West Ham United, come up against the informed Kane, informed Defoe. It's pretty obvious which, uh, uh, which, where he's been opening packs from. Uh, as he has been able to get two of the last week's team of the weeks. Uh, Ronaldo, a nice scoop turn past his defender. Breaks on in. Could have gone down, got a penalty, uh, but does get a shot off, failed, and Pogba's at the back post to uh, just ease it over the line and make it 1-0 in the 41st minute of the game. But regardless of the attack force he does have, it is still a very, very dangerous team. Defoe is very, very good. Very underrated, but the driven shot there by Bale sends it into a 2-0 lead, and uh, it was looking like we're going to push on for a very, very easy win. Corner technique, OP, as you see Smalling with the ball squares it through to Suarez. Suarez working space and uh, does be able to work the space for a low shot and 3-0 uh, in the 17th minute of the game and uh, it was looking like it was all and done 3-0. Very, very happy. But we're going to get one more goal, guys. Vieira linking up with Suarez, backing off again through to Kante and uh, Kante gets a deflection but somehow it bounces back to uh, Suarez. 4-0 and uh, that was the game done and sealed. Next opponent after this, guys, was going to be very, very different to that. Even though them stats look very dominant, guys, my opponent was very dangerous going forward. Three shots, three goals. Uh, three, sorry, three shots, three on target. He could have had three goals uh, and that could have com completely changed the team. Up against Unique X Apex, we'll play with a month for Hazard, Lukaku and Sizoko. Sizoko, a very solid player. Um... Game started off very well. Game was good all the way throughout. Uh, as you can see, Walker linking up with Pogba. Pogba with a shot, bounces to Ronaldo, low driven. There we are, 1-0, 22 minutes into the game. It was looking like it was going to be a fun game. Um, unable to break his uh, defence down a lot more than I wanted. And my absolutely atrocious defending, and it was not down to the players, guys. It was down to me. Uh, you can see there, picking up the ball off Boateng and, uh, well... He's just able to put it into the back of the net. And it's followed not long afterwards, guys, by yet again another scrappy defensive clearances by myself. Just boot it, and I just don't boot it. And uh, Kante picks up the ball, bounces back to Hammers. Past two players, levers in top corner, 2-1 in the 33rd minute of the game. It took me absolutely ages to get back in, guys, and get knocking on that door. Um, but in the 70th minute... We were able to do so. Hullet linking up with Pogba. Pogba uh, gets tackled, bounces to Hullet, back to Pogba. Pogba to Bale. Bale working the space and a nice low shot there. Makes it 2-2. Nothing happened in extra time. Straight to penalties. First penalty shootout of the week, guys. And I thought I'd found the new way to save penalties because I think I was watching Bruce Granick's um, stream over the weekend. And uh, you can see I saved a few penalties by what I was doing. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, my opponent had sussed me out and was scoring them. As you can see, I was just dodging left, dodging right, and hoping that he was shooting into my hands, which he never. Pogba comes up, steps up for the shot, guys, um, and uh, does unfortunately miss, uh, which causes me to let my opponent get the next goal wins and uh, can steps up against Manuel Neuer yet again I made daft choices didn't dive and uh, he does make it uh, well he does win a loss a loss maximum we can get now guys is 34 victories and uh, top 100 dream is over so now we've got to hope on the uh, elite one you can see against flaccid spear coming up against two legends Hadji and Lineker and uh, also Hazard not the player of the month and Inform Charisma some players I never really see uh, in the weekend league um, but still very very uh, dangerous when they do get up we whip the ball in failed at it because I never usually whip in a ball ball bounces to Pogba nice scoop turn nice bit of uh, pass and play between him and Bale and and a 1-0 lead is produced in the 47th minute of the game. Brilliant finish and uh, pressure goes off. Now, I don't know if you guys do it, but I do. And I know Nep does it and Marshall does it as well. As soon as you get the first goal of the game, you go... <sighs> and you guys know I heavily breathe a lot anyway in my videos. But we just go... 
Huh. Relief. Second goal. Not long afterwards. 2-0. Vieira on the score sheet. And uh, my opponent gets back into it, guys. With a nice looped header back into the six-yard area. The danger point. And Koscielny makes it 2-1 uh, in the uh, last couple of minutes of the game frustrating um, as uh, we wanted to get more goals so we went and did it like I said in every video guys best form of defence for me is definitely attack passed over Walker with a skilled shot into the back of the net 3-1 game sealed I was fucking happy because uh, especially after that penalty loss we do make it four Hullet waiting for the run uh, of the uh, Suarez nice touch to the right uh, left sorry and a nice left footed shot into the top corner 4-1 game over last couple of games up for grabs now this is where I'm hoping it's not going to go wrong for me. So 4-1 victory against Mayor United. And then we come against Tom, uh, Tom P26 with inform Kane, William, um, De Bruyne, the player of the month, Hazard. Everyone seemed to have him in the weekend league. Uh, Matic, Emre Chan, just a very, very nice looking BPL team. He was very, very pressure uh, filled opponent, but thankfully a nice clinical counter attack there uh, in the 31st minute makes it 1 0 and Bale's there to finish it off uh, to give us a lead. But that doesn't show the uh, outcome of the whole game because it was a very, very scrappy and very, very annoying game. As you can see, look at how many people are in the area, guys. Uh, not even moving space, but Bale gets completely wiped out in the 60th or 68th and uh, does give away a penalty uh, which our man Hullet completely levers to the right hand side and uh, does give us a 2-0 lead um, and looking good for it as well uh, even though my opponent's dangerous going forward and Rashford uh, causing me a lot of trouble here squaring it through to De Bruyne nice shot 2-1 77 minutes in and uh, thankfully we're able to hold on uh, for the win guys so two more games do remain the first one up against a atomic god and uh, he does have the uh, purple jonas um he did have that as his club name as well i was surprised i was thinking because you, you guys have seen the team names uh from the uh, weekend league and you do see a lot of bait in there like 10k fitness and stuff like that uh, but this one guy said the sbc jonas and he did actually surprisingly have him so a good team built around him and the only goal to come guys was a nice bit of play Kante on the 35th minute making it one nil and that was the only goal that I was able to score all game, but it was luckily enough that it did just give us a victory. So on to the final game of the episode, guys. One win gives us Elite 1, uh, one loss gives us Elite 2. So that's the difference between it. No stat, stat cards applied, and uh, one problem, we come up against a pro player. Yes, absolutely awesome look eh? final game guys coming up against the pro player but we did have our chances the ones which we'd usually score weren't going in you can see Bale hitting the post there my opponent with Kante and Musa uh, and you can see Shakiri linking through with uh, to Martial Martial makes it 1-0 in 23rd minute sends me down at 1-0 wasn't really bothered because I was still knocking on the door chances coming to me left right and centre this chance nice fake shot instant goal usually misses i had no idea i was getting really animated and frustrated um but you do looking back at games guys and one of the problems looking back on the chances that i was having i'm taking it on the wrong wrong foots of the players and uh, even chances which i thought may luckily go in still hit the post so it's just one of them games guys we lost it we lost it especially when musa breaks on through in the 81st minute to make it 2-0 Game over. Apologies for about uh, for, for what you're about to see, guys. I am a very salty mood, and I do apologise, but everyone's like that when playing FIFA, especially when you're coming up against a hero, Butland, like that. So, guys, a 2-0 defeat on the last game. I am fucking furious. The reason I'm furious is because the chances I got, and I will show you now, guys, um, like, I absolutely got, like, the chances don't even show what happened. He had two shots on target. Like, watch. This chance... Through on goal, what would you expect? You would expect a goal from there, at least a save from the keeper, but no, off the back. Actually, I don't know, it's a bit difficult angle, that one. Um, we've got this one, which was his other chance as well. Uh, probably could have scored that one as well, uh, but it was a nice block off uh, Smalling. Then he got the goal, and then we got these chances, and obviously my shots aren't p ping long shots anyway, guys. You can see Bale, like whoever misses that is his right foot i give it that but i'm gonna complain about this game for so much this one that one was a bit of a hit and a hope but off the post again and then there was something else at the end this this save even though we're two nil down here guys i don't know how he's able to save this oh it doesn't show the right one but we finished on 33 wins pissed off yeah definitely pissed off um at least i get sunday free i've got sunday free now um but seven losses this week is really, really frustrating. I miss out, obviously, guys, on Elite One, which is really annoying me because I miss out on the two team, the Wheat Packs. Um, but we uh, are in top 100, but that's going to drop down a hell of a lot and we won't finish here tomorrow. So, weekend league done. Will I be rushing it again? Will I fuck? Because that was just, uh, don't know. 
I probably should have saved the last game looking back, guys. But 33 wins out of 40. Uh, rough start. Rough end as well. Really, really painful. Hopefully, you guys have had a good weekend, though. What you wanted. I'm pissed off because I aim high. And I should aim high with the team I'm using. And, uh, unfortunately, I feel like I failed uh, this weekend. Losing seven times when I, I definitely shouldn't have lost. Well, I did lose. I did lose. So, I can't argue it. You know how salty people get after games of FIFA, guys. And unfortunately, you are catching the salty side of myself. So I finished 36 in the world. I haven't, because that's going to knock me out. And I'm going to get one team of the week pack. And uh, I finished Elite 2. Definitely need to step my fucking game up for the rest of the month, guys. That's for sure. Fingers crossed we can. Leave a like, rate, and subscribe or not. Catch you all later.